planner friends it's amber from Amber plans your day and happy new year welcome to 2024 we are going to do our january monthly plan with me for january of course and we are going to use winter essentials this sticker book is available on amberplanterday.com right now so head on over there and grab it before it's gone i have used quite a bit of the pages already I'm just like, I love this sticker book. It is so good. Today, I'm going to finish off using this beautiful city page. And we're going to grab our needle nose point tool, our needle point clay tool. If you don't have one of these, tweezers is also a great tool for removing stickers from the page. So we really at Amber Plants Today, my business, my small business, really prides itself on having really thin stickers that basically make it look like this is printed on your planner. So you can either use some nice pointy tweezers or you can use this needle point clay tool, which is absolutely one of my favorites. And I'm also gonna use this Uniball Signo white gel pen. I'm basically going to use that as a white out for these black lines. It works so well so that you don't see those lines through the sticker. So I'm going to put it here and then I, I want to see how much over I have to go. So basically I'm going to put this right there. Then I know I'm going to have to go about to here. And I will have to white out the 28. I personally am never too worried about whiting out a date because I can always see what date it is. And I am going to also have to date out 21 and just a little bit of that. Oh, and I think I need to go a little bit taller just so that it is fully whited out. And now we have this beautiful, beautiful element right here. Then I'm going to balance that with the taxi. Let me show you how the needle, needle point works. You just find the edge of the sticker and you slide it under so that you can pick it up a little bit easier. I'm going to put that right here. Then I'm going to basically white out this entire line. Okay. Oh yeah, perfect. So cute. Let's do, oh, we should do this guy, like right here by the taxi. Let's do right here. Just need to wait out a little bit on this line and then this line. And then a little bit right here and a little bit right here and right there. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed. Let's do this cute little coffee cup. Let's put it right there. We'll definitely do the snowflakes. Let's figure out the place for the tree also. Should I put the tree over here too? I think I am gonna put the tree right here. Okay, let's do this. Let's, whoopsies. Okay, so let's white out this line. Oh, and this way way up and so cute but then I dropped all my things I also love this super cute little like finder glass I have to figure out where do I want it maybe I'll put it up here hang on I want to grab boxes and I think I'm gonna grab the blue this blue one right here for a monthly list okay and then I'm gonna grab some of the grays there's not a lot of these boxes left so I really just want to put them on important stuff so for example Amelia's birthday is the second eight years old we have a lot of clients on the 20th so that's gonna be a full full day 
And I also have a client on the 8th, at least as of right now, those are my only clients, but likely there will be more. And then we have, I do have a, um, actually, I want to write this down real quick. A carnival final payment is due that day. So I don't want to forget that. Um, and then also I'm going to put this on the 20th or on the 19th, I think, because it's my friend's birthday and it's just a good day to have that. I don't know if there's really anything else going on in January, which is why I like to leave a lot of space for other things. Oh, also I do have, well, we have, the kids do, passport appointments. Okay, let's do that, that one for the 11th, right there. Okay, love that. I think I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put snowflakes actually. And then technically it's on the 28th. I'm gonna put this in between the 28th and the 29th just because of the you know, building right there. We have a worship night at my church for the women. Then let's finish off these stickers. So I just love this cup. Gotta pick, remind me, everyone remind me, pick up my cap because I don't want this pen to dry out. They're my favorite. And knowing me, I'm gonna let it dry out. So remind me, remind me. Ooh, I think I'm gonna put this right here. That is adorable. Let's wipe this out. Let's see here. Okay. So it is gonna cover the box just a little bit. I'm actually gonna use my white out for that just because it's a little bit easier when it is on a box to actually use the white out. I use many different white out brands, just so you guys are aware. And oh yeah, oh, that is so cute. That is adorable. I do have snowflakes, but I wanna find the spot for this like little last coffee, just so that kind of the big things are filled up, taken over, and then we'll fill in the spots with snowflakes. I like that there. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five snowflakes. So sometimes I do that and just put them on your fingers. <laughs> call it easy, call it a day. We're just gonna layer these around this spread. I'll put this one like a little bit right here. Okay. Ooh, this one right there too, actually, right there would be so cute. Right there. Let's do this one. One more. What do we think? I didn't really put a lot up here. If I would have put more at the top, I think that would have been cute. But I don't want just to do like one random sticker up there. So I'm leaning towards like here or here. Maybe right here. Okay. I'm actually liking that. I am liking that. Okay. So since you guys saw me write in Carnival Final Payment, I want to show you guys like kind of how I use the monthly spreads. So we have... Amelia's B-Day, we have passport, appointment. We do have two different times because all they had. So we have from at 12 p.m. and then we have 1.30 to 2.15. Then we have HOC clients. We have nine to two and then two to four. This is a group of three and this is a single 10 person. And then the eighth, what did I say was the eighth? Oh yeah, another House of Color client. I was like, what is this? And that is at 10 to 12. Then we have Kindred, Worship, Night. Then I could put uh, my friend's birthday here, but it may also be January's release date. So I don't know, if, I don't know, it may not happen that day. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna keep it blank for now. Um, and then honestly, like this is basically everything that I have. Mike has a doctor's appointment on the 4th and I may end up putting some bills due in here as well because one of my goals for 2024, if you did not know, was budgeting and that is something that I feel like this monthly spread could be really used for well. And this is going to be a monthly to do and that is it. Just like that, we have completed a January spread and it is so adorable. It just reminds me, wants, wants me to go to New York City. It's so stinking cute. 
And basically this is what I do for monthly spreads. I just kind of keep it really simple and I make sure that I have all of the big things in there first and then I kind of fill it in as the month goes on. I'm like, oh yep, let's go to schedule this. Let's get that done. I have, you know, availabilities on the 17th and the 22nd and whatever. And I kind of just make it available for what I need it. And then I kind of use the weekly spread as well for some of those bigger things overall. And then I fill in as the week goes with what needs to get done. I usually take about five to seven, sometimes 10 minutes to fill out all of my planners each day um, so that I kind of am keeping track of my daily things as well. So I really hope this inspired you guys, kind of showed you how I use a monthly spread, why monthly spreads are important in planners, and um, hopefully you guys will create something fun today as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year, and I will see you next time. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you miss any future videos of mine, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.